You all have probably heard about the new generation of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. It has for one reason or another became an overnight sensation. Whether you like the show or not, you have to admit the success of it is actually rather impressive. However, it raises a question. How did Lauren Faust, which worked on popular shows and has been working on her own toy line, The Galaxy Girls, how did she wind up creating a remake of some 80s toy commercial? instead of working on her own show ideas. It could be that she's just nostalgic about her childhood MLP toys or something else. But even then, what artist would rather work on someone else's than their own ideas? Well, I read a few news stories a few years back. It was about six girls who all went to the same school and died on the same day. November 7th, 2004. A friend of mine uh, from NC sent me the article from the small local newspaper. I forgot all about it until I was watching a few episodes of My Little Pony and realized that the main characters are surprisingly similar to the girls who died. I decided to take a look at the article again. The paper has either gotten shut down or I had misremembered a name, so I tried tracking down my old World of Warcraft buddy and asked him for the article and it turned out he happened to have one of the files saved on his computer. And I was right, there is a definite connection here. The first girl is named Samantha Gales, which was obviously the inspiration for Fluttershy, a shy introvert of a girl. But what her classmates really didn't know about her was that she was constantly abused at home by her mother and stepfather. Her mother conceived her at the age of 15, and she blamed poor Samantha for ruining her life. This made Samantha very self-conscious, and when her stepfather moved in, this made the neglect worsen. Her stepfather never liked having to take care of Samantha, and when her mother was away, she would lock her in the basement and leave her, sometimes for an entire day. Her mother tolerated this, and as she grew, she would hit Samantha for talking out of turn. When her half-sister was born, the abuse became considerably worse. She would be forced to starve, forced to sleep outside, and sometimes beaten outright. Because she dressed in shabby clothes, she had a rather slow self-esteem. She was often picked on by the other kids at school, and, only, and the only friends that she had were animals that she would rescue, which her family would make her get rid of. She committed suicide by overdosing on whatever they had at a medical cabinet, which happened to be Valium. The second was named Janice Walkers, and she was always one of the more popular girls. She was rich, smart, beautiful, and seemed to live a charmed life. However, her parents argued consistently, and were really only together for appearances. She was held up to a high standard, which made her a perfectionist. She wanted to be a designer and live in the luxurious city of Paris, but her parents wanted her to remain in Carolina and marry a proper man. One good breeding high income proper man. For the most part, her parents ignored her. Her parents' only concern was appearing rich and, well, high on the social standings. But in reality, her mother married her father because of the money and since he had accumulated so much debt, they had been only losing money and losing it rather fast. This is what got her interested in fashion initially, since she started making her own fashionable clothes to maintain appearances of wealth. She died in a car crash when her mother and father got into another argument over money while she was driving. Her neck was snapped on the impact, and she died instantly. She was clearly the inspiration for the character known as Rarity. Then there was Alexandra Matthews. Alex was a rather competitive girl. She always sought to be the best of the best, especially at sports, track in particular. Her father always wanted a boy, and since her mother was declared, well, incapable of having another child, he decided to raise her as if she was his son. In the end, though, she loved her mother and father, and they were more than happy to play sports of her father. She excelled at them, and this made her popular. And by the time she was in high school, she was being sought out by athletic sporting scouts from colleges from all over the country. This made her even try harder. She had always wanted to be competitive in the Olympics. However, when she was 15, her mother, who had been told could never have another child, had a son. 
and after that, her parents didn't really pay much attention to her, which made her more and more determined to succeed. She ended up pushing herself to hard at track. So she neglected her friends, her grades, and even her personal health. At one point, she became so desperate that she started taking steroids. What her family didn't know was that she had a minor heart condition that steroids worsened. Since she was pushing herself so hard physically as well, she ended up collapsing during a match due to a heart compilation, which she ended up dying in a hospital a few days later. In the show, she obviously represents Rainbow Dash. The girl most similar to Applejack must have been a girl known as Jamie Sanders, who was a farm girl, just like the character based off of her. What the show didn't include was that her farm was run down and her family was always struggling with money. She oftentimes worked odd jobs under the table to try to help and support her family. She had many brothers and sisters and she was a second, which meant it was up to her and her brother to take care of the youngins. This meant that she didn't have enough time to hang out with friends or take on any extracurricular activities, or even do homework on that matter. She had an aunt whom her family from Manhattan was based off of, who kept on offering to send money to support her mother and father, but they were too proud and always refused. The, that was until her father died of a heart attack in 2001. Her mother followed shortly after, having killed herself when she couldn't handle the pressure taking care of all these children without a loving husband to support her. They were taken in by their senile grandma, who was incapable of tru truly taking care of them, rather herself for that matter. Jamie herself oftentimes helped out with the other family's yard work to help keep her family afloat. She died when she fell into a wood chipper. The scene was gruesome and it took a while to actually get all the bits. Pinkie Pie's inspiration and my personal favorite character from the show probably has the saddest story out of all of them. Katherine Jackson was a foster child who moved from home to home. Her birth father killed her mother and himself in a fit of rage when she was five. She couldn't quite settle into a good home. Some foster families who would take her in were merely interested in the financial support in adopting a child which would bring in and would refuse to feed her or clothe her. Even when she was in a nice home with a good family, the old memory still haunted her, breaking her fragile sanity into a million pieces. She would have nightmares of her mother screaming and bleeding, her father screaming for trying to calm her but ended up coming after her. Next, by the time she was in high school, she completely snapped. She started to hallucinate and act out in class. Many of the other kids and t even teachers assumed that she was merely hyperactive and was trying to be funny. She oftentimes would paint and draw about fantastical things dressed over top clothing and all the while, her condition kept on getting worse and worse, the voices and images becoming more realistic and demented. She died when she jumped off a building, one of the voices having told her that she could fly. What makes this last fact even more chilling is that Lauren Faust even designed Pinkie Pie as a Pegasus, as seen in her early development sketches, originally dubbed Surprise. And last, but not quite the least, Twilight Sparkle's inspiration was a student by the name of Cynthia Little. She was held up to a very high standard from a very young age. Her older brother was always getting awards for academic and athletic achievement, and she was held up to the very same high standard. She ended up neglecting her other facets in life to, in order to make sure that she got the same and very best grades. For a while, this actually worked. Her parents were proud of her accomplishments and bragged to her friends about not having just one genius child, but two. That's until the local private academy for the gifted started to become interested in her. Among several other advanced students, she knew that this would be the best opportunity that she could use to prove herself as the perfect number one child. But the pressure was so high. She knew that there were limited spots for new students and she knew that there would be a test, an essay required to get in. She became a little desperate. She studied to the point where she would hardly eat, hardly sleep. And as the test closed in, she panicked. She opted to find an essay online to copy and during the test, she resorted to cheating. 
when she was caught, her parents were horrified and she sank into a deep depression. Eventually, she hung herself to save herself from the shame for being that imperfect daughter. Now, you may be wondering why Lauren Faust was inspired to make a little sweet little children's show inspired by such depressing and just downright disturbing events. Perhaps she felt some odd need to give the girls closure, or perhaps to tell their stories in the only way she knew how. Think about it. In one of the episodes named Cutie Mark Chronicles, each pony describes how they each earned their own cutie mark. Rainbow Dash was able to make a sonic rainbow on the same day that all the girls came in to see her and would be able to earn their cutie marks. Clearly, this makes you wonder about each girl's death in real life, and on the same day. And in the show, Fluttershy was able to take care of the animals she adores. Rarity is a successful designer with loving parents, and Rainbow Dash, in fact, is a great athlete. While Applejack ran a successful parm, Pinkie Pie is happy with not a care in the world. And Twilight Sparkle was accepted into the exclusive school. Maybe just, maybe, she wanted to give the spirits of these girls what they always wanted. And you know what? I think they're happy. Don't you? <laughs>